So this is the other one I've got to cut to square it up. It's actually nice and clean inside. Uh, I'll have to remove that. It's really dirty in the bottom end. Ugh, dead mice and stuff in it, disgusting. So yeah, I don't want to cut on that side because of how much rust there is. And it'll knacker my tip, so I'm just going to cut all the way along till the two sides meet up. I've got my this thing I cut as a straight edge which makes all the difference so yeah I'll get a lovely clean cut on that and that will be sweet this is the other thing I'll have to plasma cut out but that'll be easier to do from the inside as well so that'll have to be you can see it's kind of a six sided shape big hex thing so yeah don't want to cut through that rust with a plasma cutter because it's not good <clears throat> it'll get stuck and then we'll have problems so yeah that's the uh, next job but I reckon if I can get this painted up and running it'll be really awesome sun's coming out and the wind That'll tidy up with a grinder. So all that. And the next job is to cut out some of these on the inside. On the outside it doesn't matter. But now it's just a case of reinforcing everything so that it's ready when I get the pole to go up the middle. Sweet. Right, I've got to take this pesky uh, screw cap thing out, so I'm just going to try freehanding it. So, wish me luck. I'm going to need it. need a bit of work but I 
mean that's what's so handy about it, you can do that stuff that quickly. Imagine having to piss about with the hole saw, pardon my French, for ages. Look at the difference in the outside, look. Rusty piece of crap inside. Minty clean, but yeah, that's, I suppose really, that ain't bad, is it? Straight through it. So yeah, that shows how useful these things can be. Just uh, doing that cut ran the pressure down from about 110 to about whatever it is now, 50 or 60, 50 I think, 44 amps it was running at. And yeah, straight through. I should have got a template really, but it doesn't matter because all I'm going to have to do is weld the other side. Weld something on the top or probably from underneath. Now this is the next one. So realistically I've got to clean that horrible garbage out first. So I'm going to do that and then I might as well, while I'm on it, get rid of that thing. Again I'll do the cut from the inside. Because, sorry to keep going on, but cutting through rust, the plasma cutter sticks to it and it destroys the tip, so... I've only got two tips at the moment, I've ordered 25 more, they're coming from China. Well, it's like 25 piece consumable set. So yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of some of that garbage and then do the other cut. Sweet. Just gonna do some prep, prep for the cut out. Taking the time to clean up first. So you got a mouse guts. try following that line actually and see what happens. ground off a bit with the earth and maybe this will be better than the last one wish me luck Smoke there. Yeah, that was smoking real bad, and I wanted to stop to let the compressor uh, gas up again. But, oops. It's definitely gone through it wherever I've hit it. So, yeah, just. Gonna 
hit it with the gas for a couple of minutes to get rid of all that oil. So I'm just going to leave that doing that. Shit, the stones are going to start exploding in a minute. You can see the oil coming out of the uh, sides. That's what I want. I want all that burn. And all of its own now. Can leave all that to smoke off. I don't want to be near it when it's doing. Right, this is 44 amps, uh, 95 psi. I know I should be wearing a glove, but oh well. Definitely a good investment this thing. For the money. Just done away with that pretty sharpish. Not as clean as I would have liked, but Fair bit of the hard work for them done, really. We've got pretty two, two pretty much identical halves, which is what I wanted. I made it cock up with the original cut, or else it would have been a lot easier. So, lesson learnt there. And I like the fact that you can see the Texaco. Come on. So I'm going to restore that. Yeah, I'm just going to spray uh, spray the top half black. Sorry, top third black, bottom third black. Nice and shiny, and then I want this all red. And I think it'd be pretty ironic to have a Texaco wind turbine. Yeah, that's progress. <laughs>